last two hours only, probably because you are confused about time. It is the tropical rainforest. Oh, fiddlesticks! I'm not in England anymore. I'm an exchange student here in the tropical rainforest. It's alright, you can take a seat in our lecture hall and just wait till other students come in, or you can just listen to me talk about the tropical rainforest. I'd love to hear some facts about the tropical rainforest, but where will I sit? Excellent! You can sit right there, or 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 there. Or there. All right, I'll take a seat. Go for it. Yes, what's your name again? I'm sorry. David. David yes. Attenborough. Yes, Mr. Attenborough, what question do you have? What makes the tropical rainforest unique? Well, let me tell you. The tropical rainforest is found in a select number of places on Earth, including Central and South America, Southeast Asia, Africa, and Northeastern Australia. Because of the biome's constant warm and wet climate, there is little seasonal temperature variation. This environment allows the tropical rainforest to be one of the most diverse biomes on Earth. The high levels of precipitation and warm temperatures means high productivity. Oh, so that's why it's raining outside. Everything here is so lush. But tell me, miss, how can the soil make everything so green if there's so much water? Wouldn't the soil be waterlogged? Although the tropical rainforest is known for being quite lush, the quality of the soil tends to be quite poor. Despite the high productivity of the rainforests, the extreme rates of precipitation wash any available nutrients out of the topsoil unless they are rapidly taken in by plants. Plants store most of the nutrients themselves. Topsoil is only 2.5 to 5 cm. Miss Jin Cheng Chong, I brought lots of sweaters and coats to my term abroad here. Part of the reason why I'm here is because I love the frigid winters of the tropical rainforest. Silly David, the average temperature of the rainforest is only 77 degrees. Oh, blimey. So tell me, what's the difference between climate and weather? Well, the main difference is time. Weather regards the condition of the atmosphere in a short period of time, whereas climate is the average behavior of an atmosphere over a relative period of time. Oh, so that makes sense. So tell me about the climate. In an average year in the tropical rainforest, the climate is very humid because of all the rainfall, which amounts to about 250 centimeters per year. The rainforest has lots of rain because it is very hot and wet. This climate is found near the equator. That means that there is more direct sunlight hitting the land and sea there than anywhere else. The sun warms the land and sea and the water evaporates into the air. The warm air can hold a lot of water vapor. As the air rises, it cools. That means it can hold less water vapor. Then, as warm meets cold, condensation takes place and the vapor forms droplets. So if that's the climate, what's the weather like? Because the rainforest is located near the equator, they experience little variation in weather or daylight. During the day, the sun is always nearly vertical in the sky and the rain generally falls in the afternoon. The temperature remains 77 degrees. The first layer is the emergent layer. The emergent layer, although has the most sunlight, also has the highest variance of temperature, wind, and lightning. Thus, not many animals live in this layer, except for mainly the harpy eagle, which swoops down to get its prey, mainly monkeys. Then we have the canopy layer. 
Most rainforest animals live in this layer and have adapted to life in trees. Flying squirrels, flying lemurs, flying fox, sloths, howler monkeys, all are present in this layer. For the birds, we have toucans, parrots, and woodpeckers. And of course, we have insects and butterflies that roam around in this area. Then we have the understory layer. Brightly colored insects and animals live here. Since the sunlight level is low, which is around 2 to 5 percent, many of these insects and animals can easily camouflage. These animals include butterflies, ocelot, poison arrow frog, lizards, hummingbirds, and spatula tail birds. And then we have the forest floor. Termites, earthworms, fungi, and bacteria all live in the forest floor. These animals are present to help you decompose the rotting fruit and vegetation on the forest floor. There are also big mammals such as gorillas and elephants which forage on the rotting vegetation and abundant insects. Wow, animals are fascinating. I never knew there were so many in one area of the world. But tell me, Miss Ching Ching Chong, what about the plants? Oh, silly David. Well, more than two-thirds of the world's plant species are found in tropical rainforests. Plants can help provide food, shelter, and oxygen for the animals, and the animals provide carbon dioxide for the plants for the synthesize. Many of these plants have adapted to the tropical rainforest environment. It would be quite awful to go through every single plant in the tropical rainforest, so let's just focus on the different types of plants. Some of the plants you might find are epiphytes, which are lichens, ferns, and mosses. Or you might find bromeliads, such as orchids, staghorn fern, and Spanish moss. Or you might find lianas, which can be rotten palms or philodendrons. Or you can find buttress root trees or carnivorous plants, such as pitcher plant and the raffleziana. But, Miss Cheng Chong, what about global variation? How does the tropical rainforest have to do with other biomes? Ready? Go. Silly David, have you not been listening to my lecture? Well, the tropical rainforest, as you can tell, is very productive. In fact, it is one of the most productive ecosystems in the world compared to other biomes. It is very, very diverse. It has different plants, different animals, and therefore the plants help the animals, the animals help the plants. Therefore, the tropical rainforest is the best. Oh, blimey. I'm tired. That was a lot of information, Miss Jing Jing Chong. I think I'm ready to go back to England, but I haven't been, been outside yet. Regardless, thanks for your help. My quite welcome, David. I love my job. 